think we ought to, to counsel women and help women get abortions, even if it's against the law. With a group of 21 clergy, Reverend Moody organized a free referral network to provide counsel for any woman with an unintended pregnancy. I felt that I could make a case to be there for her, whatever her decision was, not just, not just if it were for abortion, but if it were having the child and giving it up, or if it were for having the child and not giving it up and keeping it. Whatever it was, we would try to help her find a way to do that. And that as, as religious people, uh, as people who cared about people's spirits, there was no way that you could do that without caring about their bodies. In 1967, California passed one of the first reform laws in the country. But the new law had many bureaucratic restrictions, and as a result, few women were able to get abortions. Reverend Hugh Anwell was among those who had lobbied for the bill. I found myself in the position of being asked to establish some kind of information service. And to my absolute dismay, we had 293 calls, and uh, we found that of that number, only three qualified under the law as then it was interpreted in California. So then the next question was, what now? You don't um, meet that kind of uh, human need and then say, well, it doesn't concern me anymore. Hugh Annual contacted me and asked me if I would be a, a counselor uh, representing the South Central area, which is largely the black area of uh, Los Angeles. And in a community that uh, has so many persons who are poor, it just seemed to me that those persons who did want to take a step to determine their own future ought to be, uh, ought to be helped without what I would consider violating the laws of God. In this synagogue, people from many faiths have gathered to honor those who suffered before legal abortions were available. 